Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, this is the Salty Drex Fishing Channel, and today we are talking about lithium batteries and trolling motors. I've got quite a few years of experience with them, and I got some exciting news for us, so stick around, check it out. All right guys, if you're new to the channel, we're gonna catch you up on a little history that I have with the lithium batteries and trolling motors. And uh, we got some exciting news we're gonna share with you. But uh, for all of you that have subscribed for a long time, thanks for coming along. Uh, really appreciate you. And uh, some of this will probably be a little repetitive, but um, you know, we got a lot of new subscribers. So we wanna try to share everything we can with everybody. But we'll start out from the beginning. At first, I used to have a motor guide trolling motor and 36 volt. And I had a Lithium Pros 36 volt, 40 amp hour battery. And I also had an on bar 12 volt to 36 volt charging unit so that whenever I'm running around and the motor's running, it was charging the battery. So I figured 40 amp hours would be a lot better. And if you're not sure how amp hours work between lead acid and lithium batteries, we're gonna talk about that a little bit more in uh, um, just a few minutes. But um, it seems kind of low, but it's really not for a lithium battery. But then eventually uh, the motor guide gave out on me. Uh, I think I, I bent the shaft or something and it uh, just stopped working. And then I got the motor guide, uh, Tarova, um, excuse me, I got the Minkota Tarova uh, 36 volt and I installed that. I got another video installing it. So if you're interested, I'll leave that in the description area below. But that Lithium Pro's 40 amp hour battery was not enough to, uh, I was running out of juice a little too much with that thing. So what I did was I was looking around, this was a little over two years ago, and uh, I was looking at other lithium batteries and like all these other like no-name Chinese kind of brands started popping up all over the place. And I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. It's like a third the price and I got twice the power. So I bought a 36 volt, 80 amp hour, single trolling motor battery from off of Amazon. And that's what I still have, in, and that was two years ago, and that's still what I have in here today. I was a little worried about it because I'm like, oh, it's a little, you know, it's a little cheaper brand or whatever. And we get going offshore and I'm pounding into the waves, into the chop and stuff. That thing's bouncing. Um, I know it's got a, like a, a BMS system in there and uh, they're, they're actually a, a bunch of uh, little batteries tied together in that big box. And I was afraid something would come loose, but it's still holding up uh, almost two years into it. And uh, I made a whole nother video about a year ago doing an update on that and seeing how it's been working and we're going on two years now and it's still working great. But times are changing and that's what I'm gonna talk about today. I partnered up with Lytime Batteries and it's not, not sponsorship, they're not paying me, but they did give me a battery to try out, but it wasn't for this boat. And we're gonna talk about that in just a second. I'm gonna switch over and we're going to uh, go to the back of the truck and we're gonna talk about uh, the differences between lead acid and lithium batteries, the, the big differences, uh, why you want, want to make the switch. And then we'll come back here and we'll talk about how that's going to affect the trolling motor community. And so let's get to it. So first let's just talk about, well, why would you maybe want to get lithium uh, as opposed to AGM or lead acid? The biggest difference between the two is how the power is used by them. All right, let's just talk about 12 volt AGM and lead acid battery. When, let's just call this line over here your volts and this line right here uh, your amps. So you got a 100 amp hours here and you got 12 volts over here. And you start up here with 100 amp hours and 12 volts. And as you use that power, it's got a steep curve to it. So as you use the amp hours, the voltage drops. And when you get about here to the halfway point, lead acid and AGM batteries drop below 12 volts and you can no longer use the power to power 12 volt systems off that battery. So now you have half a battery that you can't even use and it basically becomes a waste. But with lithium ion, your battery voltage stays up the whole time until like the very end and then it drops off. So you can use virtually almost all the amp hours in your battery. And that's the biggest difference. If you have a, a 100 amp hour lithium battery and a 100 amp hour uh, lead acid battery, you basically have twice the usable power in 
your lithium battery as opposed to AGM or lead acid. So, but that's the major difference is you basically have to buy twice the lead acid batteries to equal, to use the same amount of power you get out of the same lithium battery. So if you're thinking about upgrading, there's one other big uh, positive to lithium batteries over lead acid or AGM is the lifespan. Uh, some of these uh, batteries out here are saying they're, you can get 10 years out of them. And you're lucky, like especially like in this Florida weather that we're at here, um, if you get a lead acid battery, you get three or four years out of it, you're lucky. You know, some of the AGMs maybe last a little bit longer, but uh, your the lifespan of the lithiums are supposed to be way longer than the lead acid or AGM. So there's the two big main things, reasons why you would want to switch from lead acid to lithium. This video is actually, uh, I partnered up with Lytime batteries and they sent me one. So I want to show you guys this battery, why I decided to partner up with them. And there's a one really specific reason why I did, and it's going to be a big surprise and the jokes on them because I probably would have bought this battery. All right. So what do we have here? We have a 24 volt, 200 amp hour lithium lifetime battery. And um, so why do I have a 24 volt instead of a 12 volt? Well, we're gonna talk about that in just a second. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here. We have the, the fifth wheel, which I'm powering with the 24 volt Victron system. All right, and here is why the joke's on them, because I probably would have bought a lifetime battery, another lifetime battery anyway, because I already have one. I have a two, a 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery right here that's powering this with this Victron system and this fifth wheel already. So when they reached out to me, uh, you know, I they, first they wanted to give me like a just a small battery. And I'm like, I'm like, I gotta have something I can use. I can tell people that I've have experience with, and I've been using this for several months now and powering this 3000 watt in, uh, Victron inverter that power that can power my AC. I have a residential fridge, uh, all the outlets, and all that power is being given by just this battery. I don't have any solar. And you're like, well, I'm like, why do you have such a big system and no solar? Well, that's coming. That's down the road. But this Lytime 24 volt, 200 amp hour battery, I chose because of the great reviews it's got. Um, there's the actual, you know, a lot, some of these other cheap batteries, like you don't, if something happens and you need to get a hold of customer service and get a replacement or something like that, um, there's really nobody to call or, you know, these companies are kind of like a little obscure, hard to get a hold of, but these like lie time, you can email them, you can text them and, uh, you get a response back pretty quick. When I started communicating with them, I was really surprised at, uh, how quick they are to respond and handle, uh, their business. But this battery so far has been running great. Two of these twice the power, I could have 10,000 kilowatt hours. That's almost enough electricity to send a DeLorean back in time. Okay, maybe that might be a little exaggeration, but it's a lot of power. All right, so lucky for me, I, I waited a while and I, you know, I've been contacted by several companies to partner up with, and I was kind of hoping that Lightime would reach out to me. I already have their battery and I'm already using it and in a, in a major capacity. So I've already done tested it and put us through its paces and everything. So I know the battery is in good shape. And so far my dealings with the company has been uh, really well. They're, they're quick to reply. And uh, from what I hear online, like if you have any kind of issues with them, they're, they're pretty quick to reply and take care of things. So the customer services seems to be pretty good. And the prices of these things are just like, just think of like the LCDs TVs when they first came out. Uh, when I bought a, I don't know, LCD TV like 13 years ago, I paid like $3,300 for it. It was like this thick. It probably weighed almost 80 to 100 pounds. Now, you know, a few years later, uh, you can get the, you know, it was like a 32 inch. You can get a 32 inch that's probably like this thin, probably maybe like 30, 40 pounds. And uh, maybe it's like 200, 250 bucks. Same things are happening with the lithium batteries now. They're getting cheaper. There's more companies that are building them and they're focusing more towards boats, marines, you know, stuff, RVs, and all that kind of 
mess. Lightime doesn't make a 36 volt dedicated battery yet, but here they're working on it. You can take a 12 volt, 100 amp hour Lightime battery and run three of those in series and you'll get 36 volt just like you would with the lead acid battery. And that's one of the, probably the easiest ways to go is just buying three of those instead of a single one because most likely if you already have a trolling motor with a lead acid or, or, uh, or AGM battery, you probably already have three slots for it and the wires and everything. So all you have to do is pop them out, pop the new ones in. You would have to change over to a different charger because you can't charge a lithium battery with a, a lead acid charger. Uh, lithiums need their own special charger and I've been using a, a cheap one. It's like 45 bucks or something like that for my 36 volt battery quite a while now at least a, a year or two almost and I haven't had any issues with that and I'll leave a link to that in the description area below. If you get three 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries and uh, put them in series to 36 volts that is still cheaper than my 80 amp hour battery that I bought two years ago and the prices are just coming down and finally they're getting to be affordable uh i'll leave links to all that stuff down below for the lifetime batteries they so far so good eventually if this lithium battery ever gives gives out on me i'm going to replace it with the lifetime batteries so i know that's a lot to swallow but uh you know things are changing so i'm excited about this i hope you are too and if you've been thinking about going lithium don't hesitate just do it it is worth every penny the the things have so much power and uh, they seem to be reliable. Uh, I've been, like I said, I've been going on four years on lithium. I did the, the lithium pros for about a year and a half, two years. And then I got this other one that's a little more power and I'm going on two years on that one. And uh, like I said, if this one gives out, I'm going straight to lie time because I know there's a company behind that battery that'll stand up for the product and so far it's been working great for me and if i have any issues with them i will definitely let you guys know and put it on this channel and uh, give a shout out but i do have to give a shout out to lifetime for giving me that battery and give me the opportunity even though they didn't realize that i already had one and i probably would have bought that one anyway so i hope you got something out of this and it was helpful um, if you're thinking about getting one, like I said, I'll leave a link to the, in the description area below. Thanks for coming along. I really appreciate you guys uh, and leaving positive comments and feedback and everything. And I hope you guys got something out of this. And until we see you next time, guys, stay salty.